Mr. McNulty, are you and Miss Jackson still neighbors? No. Who moved? She did. When did you move? Two weeks ago. Did you own your home? Yes. Did this problem cause your selling your house? No. Okay. Now, this is what I gather happened. At some point in September of 2014, that's two years ago, the defendant came to your home, your dog bit her twice. Is that right? It, it bit my daughter first, and then me, uh, um, uh, 13 months later, yes. So after your daughter was bitten, you continued to be friends with the plaintiff? Yes, I just... And they kept the dog? Yes. Did you initiate a lawsuit after your daughter was bitten? No, I didn't. Did you initiate a lawsuit after you were bitten? Initially, no. After a while, yes, I did. You hired an attorney? Yes. And was there a settlement? Yes. And what was the settlement? For me, it was um, 150000 and my daughter's is still pending, or it's finishing up, it was 160000 now, this is what your claim is, sir. Your claim is that there was some sort of a kerfuffle in September of 2014. You acknowledge that your dog bit the defendant, but you say during the course of this kerfuffle, the defendant kicked your car several times. That's what you're suing for. Yes. So first, were you present when she kicked the car? I witnessed it out my window. Why don't you tell me what you witnessed two years ago? Okay, I was in bed sleeping and apparently... What time? I assume probably two or three in the morning, something like that. And basically I heard pounding on the door sound like someone was kicking in her door. My wife was You heard up. pounding at the door. Correct. And? And I had no idea what was going on. So my wife runs downstairs. In the meantime, I'm Just getting dressed. Just a second. Two o'clock in the morning, you hear pounding at the door. You had no idea what was going on. And your wife went down to answer the door? Yes. You're my kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. So anyways, I went to go get dressed and I heard all the commotion outside. So I look outside and that's when I saw her just kicking the crap out of the car. Did you kick his car? Um, Did you kick his car? It's a simple yes. question. You kicked his yes. car? Tell me why. Well, after I was bitten and I turned around to go home, she pretty much said a lot of rotten things like, I told you to leave my dog alone. You're a drunk all the above, as my lip is literally hanging from my face. Never did she offer to call the ambulance. Had you been drinking together? I was literally there for 15 minutes. We took one shot of Jaeger. 15 minutes? About, Where okay. had you been before, if, if this I was is 2 o'clock in the morning? I was home in bed. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning, because I was home in bed. I had posted a picture of my 3-year-old at the time, and she saw it, and she commented on it. And then one thing led what, to another. What do you mean she, you posted a picture of your three-year-old doing what? Um, she actually had fallen asleep on the bathroom floor while I was painting her nails. I posted it on Facebook. She had saw the comment, so she responded and then had inboxed me or text messaged me saying that she was upset, her daughter was leaving for college, her daughter had borrowed the work van, and she hadn't been home, and she was really upset, could I come over? And I said, sure, I armed my home alarm. I walked down there, and then right when I had walked down there, she had told me, never mind, my daughter just contacted me. She's on her way home. Everything's okay. Would you like to have a drink? And I said, sure. We took one shot, and then her three dogs were present in the garage with me. She took the two dogs inside for some weird reason, but left Jake with me, which I thought was odd because it just had bit my daughter previously. And um, when she had come out, Jake was kind of like following me like a normal dog would. So I had bend over and pet it, you know, being politically correct. And then it would I'd kind of move over and follow me again. And then after about the third time, I had knelt down to pet the dog. And I was looked up to talk to her, looked back down. And before I knew it, it had bit my face, but it didn't feel like anything bad, it felt like a scratch. Okay.